A big thanks to Football Drawn for partaking in this video. Stick around until the end to find out more about his channel. Jose Luis Chilever is a unique character, known as the Bulldog. Despite being a goalkeeper, he was a set-piece specialist, netting over 60 goals across the course of his senior career. He's one of football's most colourful characters, and who is unlikely to be a player like him again. This is a story of Jose Luis Chilever, the goal-scoring keeper. Jose Luis Chilever was born in Luhe, Paraguay, on the 27th of July, 1965. He grew up in poverty, walking barefoot until the age of seven, and worked by milking cows and sending the milk to rural suburbs. He started his playing career at the age of 15 with Sportivo Lujueno, later moving to Guani, where he won his first major honour, the Paraguayan Premier League. After a spell with San Lorenzo in Argentina, he spent time with Real Zaragoza in Spain. It was around this time he got his first cap for Paraguay, whilst also developing his set-piece speciality that would define his career. In his own words, Zaragoza fans would be freaked out by seeing him coming out of his goal and having the ball at his feet. He would continue practicing his penalties and free kicks until he perfected the technique. But it was in Vélez Sarsfield in Argentina where he truly came to life, taking them to four league titles as well as a Copa Libertadores and an Intercontinental Cup. He broke new ground in his time there, becoming the first ever goalkeeper to score a hat-trick after scoring three penalty kicks while also scoring a goal from the halfway line in a game against River plate. This helped him gain a high profile. That being said, his career wasn't without controversy, as he was involved with an altercation with Colombian Faustino Aspria in a World Cup qualifier. He travelled with Paraguay to the 1998 World Cup, where he kept two clean sheets in the group stages before being knocked out in the round of 16 by the eventual winners, France. Honestly, that's not a bad World Cup campaign at all, especially in a group against the previous semi-finalists, the reigning Olympic gold medalist, and Spain. It was also the 98 World Cup that I personally first noticed him, and I gotta say, I found it quite bizarre seeing him taking a free kick against Spain. He refused to travel to 1999 Copa America, complaining about the incompetence of those running Paraguayan football, saying it was more important that money was given to education, rather than hosting the tournament. He also travelled with Paraguay to the 2002 World Cup, and vehemently defended head coach Cesare Maldini from criticism he had received from the Paraguayan media. Paraguay went through the group stages again, but despite a heroic performance from Chilvert, they lost to Germany in the round of 16. Around this time, he decided to make the venture to Europe, where he joined Strasbourg in France. In the 2001 Coupe de France final, he showcased his set-piece ability once again, by netting the winning penalty in the shootout. He initially retired from football in 2003 after winning the league title with Penarol in Uruguay before briefly returning to Vela Sarsfield and retiring once again in 2004, this time for good. Many expected him to be Paraguay's future president due to his outspoken political nature and he announced his intention to run for president in 2023 election with the aim of no more impunity, no more exploitation, no more robbing the people of Paraguay. Overall, Chilevert scored 59 goals at club level and 8 goals in international level, which is a higher number than the likes of Jamie Vardy and Emil Husky at international level. And these are guys that played forward. Let me remind you again, he was a goalkeeper. That's the furthest position from the opposition goal. To this day, he remains the second highest goal scoring goalkeeper of all time, only behind Brazilian Rogério Senni. Chilever was truly one of a kind. He took the goalkeeping rulebook and ripped it up, providing the footballing world with some truly unique moments. He is the epitome of the phrase, you have to be mad to be a goalkeeper, and his unconventional style has made him a legend of the game. And he is by no means done, as soon, as well as being a goal-scoring keeper, he could become a goal-scoring president. If you enjoy the videos on my channel, you'll love the ones on Football Drawn. You will find multiple videos on many different football stories, such as the football team founded by a conspiracy theorist movement, Italy's greatest ever uncapped player, and the unluckiest footballer of all time. The link to his channel, along with our other collab video, will be linked down below. Thank you for watching.